The branch of knowledge that focuses on understanding the universe and how it works has long explored the enigmatic concept of black holes. These are regions of space with such intense gravity that nothing, not even light, can escape them. Their existence was first postulated through Einstein's theory of general relativity in the early 20th century, and over the years, extensive research and observations have strengthened our understanding of the cosmos. A key tool used by scientists to unlock the secrets of space is the James Webb Space Telescope. Although it was not specifically designed to study black holes, its focus on the entirely observable space is intended to gather information about them. However, recent findings contradict our expectations. According to the James Webb Space Telescope, black holes do not exist. Neil deGrasse Tyson recently confirmed these findings, which is shocking since telescopic images of the black holes in MA87 were considered to be the most direct evidence of its existence. This discovery has put the scientific world in a state of surprise and questioning. As for what black holes are, they are cosmic phenomena predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. According to this theory, massive objects warp the fabric of space-time, creating what we perceive as gravity. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel and undergoes a supernova explosion, its core collapses under the force of gravity. If the remaining mass exceeds a critical limit, known as the Chandrasekhar limit, the gravitational collapse becomes irreversible, leading to the formation of a black hole. Despite this, black holes have always been the subject of theorizing since their discovery. Although black holes cannot be seen directly because of how they form, scientists have identified several characteristics and properties through indirect observations. When light from stars or galaxies passes close to them, its trajectory is deflected by the black hole's enormous gravity creating an effect called gravitational lensing. This strange phenomenon is the only thing that allows astronomers to detect and study black holes indirectly, by analyzing their gravitational influence on nearby objects. Matter falling into black holes from stars or gas clouds forms an accretion disk around it. The vibrations created by the black holes in its disk are picked up by Earth and amplified by 57 octavolts emitting X-rays due to the superheating of the disk material, which is another observable signature of black holes. The interaction of black holes with other massive objects can generate gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time. These ripples were first directly detected in 2015. Both old and new observations made over decades of astronomical observations, along with technological advances, these have provided fairly convincing evidence supporting the existence of black holes. Gravitational lensing has made it possible to observe distorted light from objects, indicating the presence of huge masses with intense gravitational fields and accretion disk emissions around invisible objects, which is consistent with theoretical predictions about black holes. In addition, the detection of gravitational waves from emerging black holes have provided direct confirmation of the existence of these powerful entities. The James Webb Space Telescope is a technological feat designed to transform astrophysics, and it is more than fulfill this mission to reveal the secrets of the cosmos. However, researchers were unprepared for the startling revelations it would bring. Equipped with the telescope's data, the scientists embarked on a journey that led them to make challenging claims about the very existence of black holes. Using the JWST data, some researchers have reported intriguing phenomena that seem to contradict our traditional understanding of black holes. Alternative explanations have been put forward for what was previously considered evidence of black holes, which has generated a sea of change in the world of space exploration. One of the problems is related to gravitational lensing and advanced observational capabilities. Researchers were expected to observe familiar gravitational lensing patterns that would confirm our understanding of black holes, where light should bend around a massive black hole distorting its trajectory. However, some gravitational events have turned out to be unusual. For example, when matter falls into a black hole and forms an accretion disk around it, the superheated material emits X-rays detectable by telescopes, 
These X-ray emissions are one of the main signals used to identify black holes and study their properties. Its black hole grows after matter falls into it. Its size should increase, but the situation appears to be more complex than expected. The mass of a black hole should increase as more mass falls into it. But even this concept is being challenged by the JWST scientists as they investigate suspected regions that might contain black holes. By looking in detail at X-ray emissions from these regions, certain black hole candidates have shown peculiar patterns that challenge our conventional understanding of these cosmic entities. Unexpected variations in the spectra characteristics or temporal properties of these emissions have led researchers to question whether traditional black hole models adequately explain these phenomena. This uncertainty has led to alternative explanations that consider the possibility of other compact objects or modified gravity theories such as gravity stars. These hypothetical objects have intrigued astrophysicists and differ from conventional black holes in their internal structure. While on the outside, a gravid star may resemble a black hole following the known metric describing the behavior of gravity around massive objects, its most fascinating feature lies in its core. Instead of a singularity as postulated for traditional black holes, gravid stars have a different internal structure that takes things even further, with an event horizon that houses a thin layer of matter. In addition, the Gravitational Wave Observatory has played a crucial role in the exploration of the cosmos, detecting gravitational waves from distant cosmic collisions and providing valuable information about the nature of compact objects. In some cases, gravitational waves detected by LIGO have also exhibited characteristics that are indistinguishable for those of ordinary black holes. In summary, in the field of astrophysics, in general relativity, the hairless theorem has been a fundamental principle of understanding black holes, although its application is currently being questioned and revised. The hairless theorem states that all stationary solutions of the Einstein-Maxwell equations which describe the gravitational and electromagnetic forces poses a unique set of characteristics. These specific attributes include the mass angular momentum or spin and electric charge of the black hole. According to this theorem, any other distinguishing characteristics of a black hole beyond these aspects are considered hair and are believed to exist beyond the event horizons as an impenetrable boundary, where information is seemingly unrecoverable from the perspective of an outside observer. In a remarkable study, Sasha Hako, Stephen Hawking, Malcolm Perry and Andrew Stominger challenge this traditional view of black holes by presenting the existence of what they call soft hair in them, suggesting a more complex structure than previously thought. This soft hair consists of a set of quantum properties believed to reside at the event horizon of black holes. Unlike the conventional hair associated with the black hole's mass, spin, or electric charge, soft hair is believed to have subtle quantum properties that encode information about the black hole's interactions with the surrounding environment. The existence of stuffed hair would have profound implications for our understanding of black holes and the nature of information in the universe, potentially resolving questions related to information about matter falling into a black hole. The idea of soft hair suggests the possibility that black holes retain subtle quantum traces of their past interactions, opening up the prospect of recovering information thought to be lost beyond the event horizon. On the other hand, in 1974, Stephen Hawking proposed an innovative idea called Hawking radiation, according to which black holes emit radiation over time, which eventually leads them to lose mass and disappear. Initially, this radiation appeared random and contained no information about the matter that had fallen into the black hole which conflicted with the information conservation principle of quantum theory. Although scientists face difficulties in reconciling quantum theory with the gravity, a recent study led by Neetha Engerhard and her team has re-examined Hawking's formula and found a new calculation that suggests the, the information escapes through the radiation, revealing details about the matter that has fallen into the black holes as they evaporate. 
This finding represents a major breakthrough in addressing the information of loss paradox and reconciling the discrepancies between quantum theory and gravity. At the same time, it completely challenges our traditional black hole theories. Both dark matter and dark energy are enigmatic components that make up a significant part of the universe, but their nature remains elusive. While black holes have been the primary explanation for certain gravitational effects, there is growing interest in exploring how dark matter and dark energy might influence these cosmic phenomena. If you liked the video, please like, share it to reach more people, subscribe and turn on the notification bell.